Giovanna, this launch hasn't been rescheduled, but it was canceled last night, too. Side by side, each one of these observers at Griffith Observatory facing west waited for this rocket to launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base. They were telling me that the best view of the rocket launch would be in this direction. But 7.5 seconds to launch, mission control stopped the clock. My control aborted at approximately T minus 7 seconds. Scrubbing the Delta IV heavy rocket from lifting off. The rocket's payload, a National Reconnaissance Office classified satellite. Initially, United Launch Alliance, a joint venture by Boeing and Lockheed Martin, said the sequencer, which controls the countdown, detected a problem, but the alliance didn't give specifics. I heard that they were doing a lunch, so we just came out here and hoped to catch it, but we didn't, so we're a little bummed. Disappointed they didn't see this. This was the 18th and final mission by SpaceX almost a year ago. It's the kind of sight that has sent people outside on a clear night hoping to see the light show for themselves. We've never seen something like that before. And, um, and I'm from Houston, so that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but Farah Zaidi has once again found herself in the right place at the wrong time. We mentioned that this launch had been postponed from last night. There was a communication error between the control center and the launch site. But to give you some perspective, the Alliance has had 27 successful launches in over 12 years. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.